everyone, Squiggle Mom here, coming to you from Brickersville over in Shoreline Village. We call it Shoreline Village's Brickersville. You'll find out soon enough about that. I'm here today sharing with you about the EV3. And I'm not going to do a lot of wowing you with my amazing knowledge of the EV3. My knowledge is mostly standard. I get it from the same places you might. We're a discovery-based group, and I'm just sharing uh, my observations, what I've discovered. So, the EV3 is a robotics learning platform. I'm sometimes amazed at how many people have not participated in, experienced, seen the EV3, but I live in a very Lego-centric environment. This is an EV3 robot, mostly configured in what they call the educational form. Um, there's a model, and I'll show you where that is. And you get started mostly by buying a kit and assembling the model, and then you follow some instructions, some lessons that are um, available online. That's what I'm going to show you today. I will tell you I'm missing a wheel and these have been turned backwards. I do discovery-based learning here at Brookhamsville and sometimes that means that things get moved around because people are discovering what happens if I turn these this way or if maybe I'm discovering something else and I take my wheel off to use it on that something else. All well and good. So I'm just going to show you now where you might find the information and in another video I'll get started with you a little basics on how to use the EV3. Okay? Getting started. So I tell my parents that they should go to education.lego.com. By going to education.lego.com they get the education version of the EV3. There is also a play kit, but it doesn't have all of the parts that you might need to build the models in the education software. So shop. And of course it defaults to where it senses you're from. And I'm here in the United States, so mine defaults to United States. Then we go to shop and down shop by product. So see here is the Mindstorms EV3, the Spike, and the WeDo. So the ones I'm most familiar with are the Mindstorms EV3 and the WeDo. And so today we're focusing on the EV3. So this EV3, if you click on it, you can buy a base kit EV3 core set by Lego Education and the price today is for eleven ninety five. It's been kind of that way. And I you can start with that or you can also buy what's called a um let's see. Alright, so let's add this so then maybe it'll give us another um, option because we're looking for the add-on extensions expansion set oh here the expansion set and this is hundred and nine ninety five and so with the education set you get a basic set of materials and a certain number of projects and with the expansion set then you get more projects that you can use and um, so you could do, you could get by with just the education set. So if you're not sure or money is tight, like if you're buying for kits and you can't afford the extra $500 for four expansion sets, it's okay to just get the core set and it'll give you a lot to do. So that's what you get. It's about $500 for the two together, um, 500 and a bit. 
and then you gotta add tax and shipping of course okay once you get that then you need to download the software onto your computers the software is free and available online let me go find it for you okay so all I typed in was Lego Education EV3 download so let's see what happens and it gives me the Mindstorms EV3 then let's go to here uh, I want just the download okay so it didn't give me it gave me the shopping site downloads downloads education.lego.com and then it's downloads EV3 here view download your Mindstorm software and I have Windows 10 and just download. I already have it on this computer. I'm just showing you where to find it. Now I do want to say that if you are getting into the EV3, you want to make sure you have a computer that can handle the software. What these uh, smaller um, netbooks, uh, things that are mostly meant to be um, based on the cloud, I don't know that it's such a good idea to get one of those when you are working with this software by my experience anyway I'm kind of old school so I like to have um, some processing power on my computer laptop I prefer a laptop over pretty much anything else and uh, so here it is operating system hardware 2 gig or more which is not bad right 1.5 gigahertz processor 2 gig of available hard disk space. This is where you run into trouble with some of the smaller devices, smaller capacity devices, because they might have 40 gig hard drive space on the whole thing. And here you're using it all for one, 2 gig for one component. So a USB port and a minimum screen resolution, 1024 by 600. And then also they have Mac uh, parameters also and I don't have a Mac so all right once you've gotten that software you can open it up and unload it and I have here a copy of the EV3 software and I'm just I'm not gonna go into any details on the EV3 I'm just gonna share with you um, where the learning things are so see it says start here and prepare so in this, there is, I believe this is the model where it shows you, okay, this is even just unpackaging the box and getting your brick ready. Then, tutorials, robot educator, driving base, okay. Building instructions, that's what we need. Building ideas, okay, the driving base. This is what we were looking at, the driving base. And I believe we probably also on the robot that I had, yes we do, have a medium motor. So let me tell you about the driving base. Uh, it basically has two wheels and a little roller ball in the back and that uh, is a basic um, robot for going forward, back, making turns. No sensors, just connections from the port to the motors and um, a good basic start. You might think like, oh, okay, you want to go straight to sensors and sure, sensors are exciting, but the reality is you can do a lot just with motors and a lot of people do the medium motor the way it's formatted here and there are instructions on that so you just do open and you can see all the instructions to build the driving base or the medium motor and see here this is 46 pages of instructions and just shows you step by step how to do it okay so and then the medium motor is a basic add-on I like using the basic driving base and the basic medium motor the reason is 
the instructions on rebuilding it are right here. Anything the kids do beyond that, if they want to reconfigure it or whatever, fine by me, but then they have to know how to rebuild it. It's all theirs. This is a good basic starting point. A lot of people use it and then they can go anywhere from there. Okay, so that's what I have for you today. Um, buying the equipment and getting started in building the robot. Tomorrow I will go over a little bit about the robot itself, the EV3 smart brick, and some of the ports. Okay, nice talking to you. Signing out from Brickersville in Shoreline Village, California.